My name's Charlie Duran, and I'm out of Raleigh. I'm with the handheld products, and I'll take you through the handheld section here today. And as you know, this is a new reality, and it's a new reality with handheld products as well. First, give you a little outline of what we'll be doing. We'll talk about a market update. We'll review some new products that we have, like the XT170 and 170B that we're introducing right here at Parts Expo. We'll talk about the new BP50 blower, our new line of generators. I've talked to several of you, of you on the floor yesterday, and it was awesome. Brian, if you don't mind, leave one door open, please. We'll talk about reasons why you should sell John Deere handheld products, and also we'll talk about accessories. This is a part and accessory uh, show, and we have a lot of new accessories with regards to handheld products. As with every class that you go through today, you'll have objectives. At the end of this class, you'll be able to name at least two outstanding features of the new BP50 backpack blower. You'll be able to list the three features of a new Kawasaki K-Series generator line that are improvement over last year's line, and you'll be able to give uh, at least three reasons why you should sell John Deere handheld products. A little bit about market information, and th th this is getting into the uh, little bit of the market, and I like to break it down in three market segments. And the first one up here, the consumer market, and we all know who that is. That's, that's the market that it is between $69 and $99 that are ma mainly sold at the uh, Wally World uh, Home Depot. And that's mainly serviced by the mass, as I was just telling you. And we don't really get too much into that with the John Deere handheld products. But the next group, the upscale consumer, those guys are looking for a product that performs at a much higher altitude than what they could go find at, at Home Depot or those type of places at mass retail. So we do get involved in the upscale consumer, and it's serviced by the dealer and the mass channel. But the third group, the professional market, it's mainly serviced by the outdoor power equipment dealers, and that's the fastest growing segment of the outdoor, outdoor power equipment business of anything. So professional market is something we really need to pay attention to. And why is that market increasing? Very simply. There's more and more landscape maintenance companies and lawn care professionals coming into the business every single day. In fact, last year, 22 million, one out of five households in the United States had their lawn taken care of for them by a professional. And we're expecting that to double within the next three to five years. So that's more and more people that are going to be needing professional type products to do the job. And that's what the professional products are. That's what they make a living at. And this is real interesting. When you, know, when you first said, hey, I'm in A, I'm going to handheld products, a lot of people consider handheld products as small potatoes. But I've talked to several dealers that at least 50% of their sales at their dealership are made up from handheld products. In 1999, 1.9 million units, $503 million of just the professional portion of the handheld product line. And that's, that's not counting the $69 to $99 trimmers that are being sold at Home Depot. So it's a very large market. The question is, are you getting your share of it? And the reason why I ask that is 98% of that $503 million is being sold through outdoor power equipment dealers just like yourself. So are you getting your share of it? We expect that trend to pretty much stay true all the way out through the next four or five years, all the way to 2004, as it might drop to as low as 92% at the dealer level. Why do you think we've seen that? That most of that business is retained at the outdoor power equipment dealer level? Anybody? Service. service, exactly right. The commercial landscaper and lawn professionals demand service. They shop at the place where it gives them, that gives them the best service. So we, we expect this trend to stay true. That's why, when in, in regards especially to handheld products and, and mowing equipment, we need to pay a special attention to the professional market. A little bit more about market information, and this, this is no, you know, no, no brain surgery here, generators. And that's that actually now up around 70% increase over last year. All these figures that are up here are increases over 1998. And 1998 was a banner year for handheld products. We had double digit growth in almost every single category. And we're seeing the same thing in 1999. Backpack blowers up 24%. Stick edgers up 21%. And it goes all the way down. Look at all the hedge trimmers, trimmers. Everything that we participate in is up. And most of them are up in double digit increases. And that's over last year. So the outdoor power equipment as far as handheld products is on increase. And again, this is being fueled by more and more people coming into the business. And the people that are in business, they're growing as well. So they need more and more equipment. 
opportunities. The opportunities we have as, as outdoor power equipment dealers are lawn and landscape contractors, lawn maintenance companies. Now here's one that I'd like to talk a few minutes about, governmental and institutional. I feel like we could do a better job here. We have an excellent rebate program when it comes to handheld products. Uh, if you're selling Echo or Steel or Shindauer or some of these other brands, if you sell them to a municipal agency or a nonprofit agency, you have to give 15 or 20 percent discount off a list before you get a rebate back from those guys, right? On our products, whether you, it doesn't matter what you sell it for, you can sell it at full retail price and you still get the rebate. So that's another reason why you should sell John Deere handheld products. More dollars, especially when it comes to governmental and, and institutional. High end consumers. These are the guys that are already coming into our dealerships that are buying LT133s. They're buying the lawn tractors and the garden tractors. So those guys are, if they're cutting grass, they're also trimming, edging, and blowing. So you need to make sure that we ask those guys where they're buying their lawn and garden as far as handheld equipment goes. And providing service for mass customers. Very important. There's a lot of, lot of equipment being sold at Home Depot and Walmart that are other brands other than John Deere. And we need to make sure that we try to pull those guys in because we can add sales as far as accessories, units, or whatever. So paying attention to those guys is very important. Again, the common denominator is service. The cust commercial customer demands it, the upscale consumer expects it, and the mass sold equipment need it. So service is the key when it comes to handheld products. Again, the past dealers focused mainly on consumers and not taking uh, into account too much of the professional market. That was back in the 80s. Today, more and more dealers are starting to realize the potential of the pro landscaping market. I've talked to several dealers over the last few years, and one of the things I like to ask is, how much of your business was consumer versus professional 10 years ago? And look at, the, look at your business today. It's almost done a flip-flop. In the future, Successful dealers will pay attention just to those five categories I was telling you a few minutes ago. So th those is what we want to focus on for the future. When it comes to handheld products, uh, a lot of you might have been to a few classes that we've taught, or like for instance, Beyond the Limits, I saw a few of you coming in and y'all said, hey Charles, is this the same presentation you gave at Beyond the Limits? It's not, it's we've got some products that we'll be talking about, but it's similar. But our product line has changed drastically in the last two years. For instance, on our trimmer line, we went to all John Deere M-Series engine, the Mitsubishi engine. Major improvement. We're getting more and more dealers coming, to, coming onto the handheld products with John Deere every single day and really realizing that there is an excellent value here when it comes to John Deere handheld products. But we're not stopping, guys. We're going on. We, uh, we've doubled our sales every year for the last two years. And the way we've done that is to bring you, our dealers, the products that you need to sell to this market and new products, and we've brought a lot of new products. And Brian's going to put on one of the new products that we introduced a few months back, the BP-50. First of all, one of the things that we, we were asked uh, be, is that we needed products to compete head-to-head -head with guys like Steel. Anybody ever heard of them? Okay. Echo, Shindawa, and this BP-50 is one of the answers. One of the things about our previous model, the BP-40, is Brian will go through it and show you a few of the features of an improvements of it versus the BP-40. Well, first of all, we now have an abdominizer here that really helps my profile a lot. <laughs> but actually, this belt holds the unit close to the small of your back and carries some of the weight on your back. Takes some of the stress off of your shoulders. On the pistol grip, it's adjustable forward and backward to your comfort level. And the, one of the biggest things is the straps. Uh, before on a BP-40, if you wanted to adjust the straps, you had to take it off, adjust them, hope that when you put it back on, it was right. But here, we have a quick adjustment, just like that. You can get it exactly the way you want. You want to loosen it up, take it off, it's just that easy. So a big improvement. And I think you'll also see we have uh, protection on the car brake right now. And that's, that's everybody that ran this unit, and Steve, uh, I know you're here from Dubuque, and you were down, we were talking before the class. Everybody that ran this unit at Beyond the Limits was impressed of the operator comfort. So we've got an excellent unit. Also, we increased the power of the unit. We now have a 48.6 cc engine. 
and we now have 185 miles per hour, 470 CFM, and now it's measured at the end of the tube, where everybody else is. So we go head to head with steel and their BR400, which is one of the number one selling backpack blowers out there, especially the commercial la landscapers. Anybody in here sell steel? Okay. What do you sell that BR400 for? 399. That's exactly right. And that's why we're promoting this blower. Retail price is 429. We'll be promoting it at 399. In fact, if you look over here, we're going to help you out at retail. We've got, for instance, this. Uh, what do you call that, Brian? Transparency. <laughs> that's available as, in a transparency, and we'll make it available as a poster if we need to. But it shows that we have a 399 promotional price. Now, here's the kicker. Steel dealers, what do you pay? Anybody know what they pay for that BR400 off the top of your head? Usually it's 20, about 20 to $25 more than ours. And the reason why I say that is on our BP50, we sell it to you, our dealers, at $299.99 in every single category, whether you buy in the 15-unit category or the 250-unit category. So you make excellent margin on this, this backpack blower versus the competition. Another new product that we have is the new XT170 and 170B. Both these units, I already told you that we went to all Deer M-Series engines. The XT170, as you're showing here, we're really going after the upscale commercial market as well as governmental. It is an awesome trimmer. Very, very powerful. 1.7 horsepower, 32.6 cc's. This one is in direct competition with the Steel FS120 and the Echo SRM3800. It is a very powerful machine. One thing I want to point out to you, they are available now, but we're now pricing all of our handheld products at market. And what that means is this, for instance, this trimmer, we're priced at 409, and that's at or below what the competition's promotional pricing is. So you make more margin selling our products versus the competition. This is the bicycle handlebar unit, same, same unit with bike handlebars, 449. And one thing you'll notice is we changed the bicycle handlebars to the same throttle system as we have on the other trimmers. So that's two great units that we have as far as additions to our line. Now something that we're really excited about is our new generator line. And I want to take a second and talk to you about our new generator line. First of all, we got four new models. We have a 2500 watt, a 4400 watt, a 5500 watt, and a 5500 watt electric start. First major change, guess what? It's in the engine. Kawasaki overhead valve engines. Something our dealers and our customers were asking for. Is that a good change? Yes. Okay. It's an excellent change. Something else I want to point out to you is that not only is it a great change, but we, we have a competitor out there. It's Red's called Honda. And I'll give you, for instance, on our engine, we've got excellent, excellent service of this engine versus the Honda. On our 5,500 watt generators, we use 11 horsepower Kawasaki overhead valve and it has full pressure lubrication with a spin-on oil filter. Hondas on their 11 horsepower doesn't have that. So that's a big, big plus on that unit versus the Honda. Another feature that we have is that some of our units, like our 2500 watt up here, actually have lower noise levels than Hondas. Some of them are the same, and, we, and the rest of we only have one that's a little bit noisier than the Hondas. But one of the ways we achieve that is with this new muffler. And I know everybody in the back can't see that, this muffler, but does anybody recognize it up front? Look from here. Steve, you all know this one? Gator. That's exactly right. We borrowed this, the same people that are manufacturing the muffler for the Gator are manufacturing this for us. And it reduces our noise level, and it also gives us a better sound quality. It's actually a lower tone muffler than what Honda has. So it's an excellent system there. Something else that we changed on our 44 and 5500 watt generators, we now have an eight gallon fuel tank. This gives us the longest run times of anybody in the industry. And with that eight gallon fuel tank, for instance, on this 5500 watt, it has a 9.5 hour run time at full load, 12.7 at half load. The 4400 watt, the second one in there, 17 hours on a tank of gas. That's awesome. We also have a feature called smart idle control, which is better than Dumb idle control. Okay, some of y'all went to the beyond the limits. Dumb idle, you know, dumb idle control, it's not really dumb. What it is is on ours, idle control, when the generator has no need of electricity coming out of the plugs, it drops the engine speed to idle. 
On ours, we have a five-second delay, and that comes into play with a guy using a hand tool, a drill, or, or a circular saw. Every time he hits the trigger on our competitors like Honda, their engine surges up or surges down. And that's bad on the engine, it's bad on the tool. With, our, with ours, with a five-second delay, you don't get that surge, so you, it helps prolong the life of the hand tool and the engine. We also have 6% electronic voltage regulation. And that is better than what comes in off the power cords at your or power lines at your house. 6%, it's electronically governed. There's a little computer board up here in the panel that constantly monitors the electricity coming out of this generator. So it's got very good voltage regulation compared to some of our competitors like Coleman and Generac, some of these lesser expensive ones that are sold at mass retail especially, that are in the range of 10 to 15%. Anybody here from the north? They have these things up there called ice storms. I don't see too many of them down here in the south. But we, we have, for instance, two years ago, we had a bad ice storm. And up there, everybody wants to run their heaters when the, light, when the lights go out in the wintertime. Imagine that. And what was happening is they had a lot of customers that were going to the Home Depot and Walmart buying the lesser expensive generators that had 10 to 15 percent voltage regulation. And when they plugged their, their, their blower in or their heater in, it blew the thermostat. And because that's a com com uh, computer component. And that's where it comes into play. 6% electronic voltage regulation like we have is excellent, especially if you're running computers and that type of stuff. We also have ground fault circuit interrupt plug protection. We have better motor starting cap capacity than the competition. And our, all of our generators have a hour meter and a volt meter standard on the units. So we've got a full feature line of generators. Would you agree? Huh? All right. What are we missing? Is there anything else important besides features? Oh, price, that's important. I told you we have an opportunity when it comes to generators. Let's look at pricing. Here's our 2500 watt. Here's how we stack up against our competitors, Honda and, and Kawasaki. Look, this one does have a lower dB rating than the uh, Honda unit does at 66 dBs versus theirs at 69. Get all the way down here to price. We're at 899. Honda's at 14.20, Kawasaki's at 14.30. It gets better. Here's our 4,400 watt. This is one of the best values we have. 4,400 watts comparing to Honda's 3,500, Kawasaki's, and Generac's. And I threw Generac in here because they're more or less referred to as the lesser expensive generators out there. Look at the run times, tank, run time. Get down here to price. We're at 11.50. Honda's at 2,060. Kawasaki, we even beat Generac by a couple hundred dollars. Very, very competitively priced. We've got the features. Why do we do this? We want to pull those customers from Home Depot up into our generators, and we also want to pull the people from Honda to our generators as well. So it's very, very price advantage here. Here's our 5500. This is the meat and potatoes of the line. If you're a Honda dealer, you know the EM5000 is one of Honda's most popular generators. Go down to the bottom line. We're $1,200 less than Honda. Yes, theirs does come with a dolly kit for that price, but ours, you can add a dolly kit, it's going to be $130 for the dolly kit. So we've got an excellent, excellent value on this one. Look at electric start. Here's our 5,500 watt electric start. Same dBs as Honda's EM5000, which is their electric start. Get all the way down here again to the bottom line. We're at $1,699. Honda's at $2,669. We're nearly $1,000 less than Honda on this unit. Go all the way out to the right, Generac, $18.99. So we're even less than Generac. Here's the kicker. On this generator here, it comes with a battery. In fact, it comes with a John Deere Strongbox Hibernator battery on the unit. All you have to do is add the acid. If you're a Honda dealer, you have to buy, or if you're a customer buying a Honda, you have to buy a battery. Theirs doesn't come with one. That's another $90. And a battery tray, that's just another $70. So we have a very big advantage when it comes to generators. For you as dealers, it's very important to know that the generators we just brought into the line, they're now available. And if you've already placed your early order program order, you can add them to that order and you get the same terms and same, you get free freight, but you get the same terms as you did on the initial order. And we priced them at, all the way across the board at 15% off MDP. So that's an excellent, excellent program for you as dealers. Accessories. I told you we're in a parts and accessories show, and we've got a lot of great new accessories down there in the booth, and we've got them up here on, on the floor as well. 
The first one I want to talk to you about is our new I-Beam. And I, we talked to several dealers last night about this. We're giving out free samples, so if you didn't get one on the sales floor, John, raise your hand, please, and jump back there in the back. We have a huge box. Take you a sample back home. I-Beam line is the best line that you can buy out there, if you want to, if you, especially if you're a professional cutter. The advantage of an I-Beam line is a square line with a channel cut into it. And what that does, it gives you eight cutting surfaces versus, for instance, if you're selling Echo Crossfire, which only has seven. But another advantage of the I-Beam line is we put, there's more, because it's square, there's more mass out where you're cutting. So it makes it a lot more durable than Crossfire, for instance, that doesn't have that mass out there. Crossfire is actually a lot more brittle than our I-Beam line. Another big advantage, we're using the best line available, and that's that MN7 right here. That's the best quality line available. That's what, same as Crossfire, they're MN7. The big advantage, ours cuts faster, lasts longer, and it's less expensive to both the customer and to you as our dealers. We've got an order program on this line that goes all the way through February. And we've got sales sheets, and they're on the back table. If uh, you don't mind, one of you hold it up. Make sure you pick one of those up. We're giving you a fifth, up to a 15% discount. The one that says I-Beam, John. Up to a 15% discount on this line through February for just $200 or more. Another thing I want to talk to you about is we have a, a tap for cord head, a new head that we started putting on our trimmers last year. The reason why we did this is this head was a very high demand head, especially in the commercial market. We bought a company called Green Machine a few years back and they used this head. And since, since then we have retooled it and made it easier to load. It's also a very durable head. Some of the features are it only has one moving part which makes it more durable, last longer than most heads out there. It has brass floating eyelets right here. And where that comes into play is when you're cutting especially thick grass, the line tends to whip against the string head. And it, you know, if you don't have a floating eyelet, it actually cuts into the string head. And you either got to replace the eyelets or you have to replace the head. So floating eyelets is an advantage. We have the largest line capacity of any head out there. We hold 40 feet of 095 line in our string head. And that's a lot better than most competitors out there only hold 25 feet. It's a non-directional spool. What that means is when the customer finishes using this string up, he doesn't have to look for that arrow on the spool that tells him which way he has to wind it. You can wind it in either direction. So it makes it very, very easy. We have just sim since the uh, last couple of months started notching the spool. And what that does is when he finishes winding it, he just catches the string in the notches and it takes one hand to load it back into the spool. So it makes it very, very easy to load this spool versus the older models and also versus a lot of competitors out there. Why are we bringing this all up? Is we had companies like Shindawa, Mariyama, and Redmax that were using this string head as standard equipment on their trimmers. Since we've, this is now a deer exclusive, only on deer trimmers, but it also fits a lot of trimmers out there. We've got an assortment of arbors that now allows this head to fit on 85% of the trimmers out there. So it adds additional sales to you as a, as a dealer as far as accessories. Has anybody seen these type of saws? You seen this one out there? This is how it looks today. And this is how we'd like it to look tomorrow. Here at the Expo, we're introducing a John Deere Will Fit Guide Bar program. They're called JD Pro Cut. We fit 85% of all the chainsaws out there. We have the best quality product. We've got price competitive, meaning what I mean by that, well, again, this is another situation where we're 10, 15, or 20% below the competition out there as far as pricing. We've got planograms available, and this is an excellent program. During the Ag Wave last couple of weeks, we had a lot, a lot of dealers came up and said, that's great, now we can have customers come in and have competitive saws, and we've got a bar that'll fit their chainsaw. Oil. Is everybody familiar with our oil? We have, this, this oil is awesome. This is one product that we really, really believe in. It's 40 weight, it's low ash, and it's got gas stable already in the oil. And we've got it now in all kind of different sizes. This is a six gallon mix, and how this works, for a consumer, he just squeezes the bottle here, and he, for every gallon, he just fills this up and dumps it for every gallon of gas he wants to make. We also have it in a one-gallon mix. 
And just introduced, we have a two and a half gallon dump. And for those commercial guys, we got a five gallon dump. Makes five gallons of gas in one dump. And Keith Hoverstedt was just in there a little while ago, and we've got a, all, a year round oil program on these oils. And again, we're offering discounts of up to 30% on that oil, which gets us down there very, very competitive versus anybody else out there. So when you think about accessories, also think about our accessories, our oil. And I know through, I talked a lot about a lot of things, talked about some new products, new accessories, but there's a lot of reasons to sell John Deere handheld products. And I could sit up here for a while and talk to you about that, but what I want to do is let you listen to a few dealers that we, had, that we did an interview with. Look like we're in the handheld business. And it's, it's really increased our sales. But most of the people like to keep the, the John Deere name throughout the garage. The margins are usually better on the small items than they are the large items. You know, I think every John Deere dealer really would love to sell nothing but John Deere. That's our that's what we do. That's in our blood. Uh, when when the new John Deere handheld products came out, uh, what we did was look at what we were already selling, and we decided to consolidate. Uh, we, and they're hard to do, but we had three lines and four lines of handheld equipment. Today we sell two, and, and John Deere is becoming more and more a bigger part of our handheld equipment, and we hope one day to convert all of our customers over to John Deere, to all John Deere. And uh, the thing about having John Deere handheld, John Deere handheld can be supported just like the rest of the John Deere line. You know, the thing we've always had in times past, a guy would come in and buy a piece of John Deere mowing equipment, and we could unequivocally, with all the confidence in the world, tell him that if anything happens to this, we can just about have the part, we can guarantee the part in 24 hours. But at the same time, he might have an off-brand or a different brand piece of handheld equipment, and we couldn't make that promise, because this company couldn't, didn't support their product like John Deere does today. With the same confidence as we sell our garden tractors and our lawn <coughs> and our utility tractors and the full John Deere line, we can sell the handheld line with the same confidence and back it up with good warranties. And we know the parts are going to be available. We know the warranties are good. And we know the prices are competitive. And so it makes it easier for us. We start out just as lawn garden products primarily. Um, we still have focused on that line. At the beginning, we prior pretty much just stayed with tractors and push mowers and such and uh, had since moved into the handheld as we became more familiar with that, uh, with that line. After a person buys a tractor or walk behind more, they'll then come back maybe for their first oil filter and uh, oil change items and then uh, start looking at the handheld products. With that we find that uh, most of the people like to keep the, the John your name throughout the garage. If uh, we don't have the handheld, uh, they may go see a mass merchant or a um, big box store to, to purchase such items. Uh, also gives them another reason to come back in and uh, they may need something else for a larger piece. Uh, they may see the new product that you have on the floor and uh, also decide in addition to a handheld piece, they may need this new product that was introduced for their tractor. So it is a good way to develop return visits. We had tried some of the other uh, handheld product lines that were out there, and we found that uh, typically the, the John Deere name is something that's recognized by everyone first off. Uh, we've also found that um, they want to come in and uh, know that they can get a piece serviced if they're unfamiliar with the name. They may not be able, they may not have a strong feeling on parts availability and that sort of thing. As far as our decision, we found that uh, the ordering programs through Deere are a lot friendlier. Uh, we can purchase uh, quantity discounts and a bulk seasonal purchase, uh, but if we need replenishment, we can order uh, a piece of stock order one or two at a time as we see fit uh, the fill seasonal demands. So it's, it's come down to more of a uh, ease of availability, uh, you know, orderability, and uh, now that the the product has seen a serious facelift uh, in both the, the quality and features. We found that it's probably as superior of a product as anything out there. Our business has changed. The ag end of it has changed drastically over the past several years, and the way it looks is going to change even more in the future. We need to diversify into another 
area that is going to keep us strong. Uh, the commercial and the lawn and garden end of it has is that area that is increasing. Our business has increased substantially over the past three years in the lawn and garden. And to complete that line, we had to add something in there to, to finish it out. And that's why we made the decision to go with the John Deere handheld products. You know, at first we didn't do a lot of displaying and promoting of it. And it just kind of just laid there until we finally, at one of our John Deere days, we put up a big, massive display of the handheld products. And people, I can't count the number of people that came and said, we didn't know you handled that. And we know where we're going to go when we want to buy a trimmer or a chainsaw or whatever. We've had this past year, the, the weed trimmers have been the, the fastest moving and the most quantity. We are expanding into the generators just recently. We've gotten into some, some pumps and some concrete saws this last year on contractors. So we sell the skid loader line and they come in and look at a few other things that go along with it. It's very easy to handle one brand just for the fact that you've got one company to deal with, you've got one set up, price books, repair manuals, everything is all under the same name, under one brand. Uh, and that's why we use the John Deere brand. It's, it's been very good and very reliable. Uh, I think their motto today is strong, reliable, and still John Deere. Handheld business has increased, uh, what I'd say, almost double in the last couple of years. And what we're seeing is almost every other unit that we sell, there's a possible chance of selling a handheld. Well, the nice thing is when you close on a sale, say a 133 tractor, you might add to it a, a steering trimmer. Uh, easily enough, and you can ask for full retail. There's nothing wrong with that. Along with selling the, the string trimmer, you'll be able to add maybe a gallon gas can or oil or string, and it's usually in no, uh, no argument situations. Normally, yes, I'll take that too. Uh, what we find is very convenient in the standpoint that when we do sell string trimmers and lawnmowers, a lot of times the finance program is all tied together. And there's a commonality of John Deere products, both the tractor itself and the string trimmer. Occasionally we'll sell a string trimmer, and sure enough, they'll be so happy they'll come back and maybe ask about a walk-behind mower. The walk-behind mower might lead to a, a garden tractor or something in that category. Attachments lead to other things. It doesn't always have to be the big thing first. It can always be a small thing first, and from there, get to bigger items. What's nice about the parts and service business on small handhelds, it isn't less. It's actually more in some cases. The margins are great. What's important, too, is that the service people in the back are able to decide whether something's worthwhile fixing or not. And a lot of times they'll walk up front and actually help the salesman make the sale on the handheld product. John Deere has an excellent cement saw. The little 380 has been a wonderful little saw for us. <coughs> and been very satisfied in its results, held up against the best. Uh, the saw business is, is also a, a business that one might want to look at from a rental stand, standpoint. Rent that item out, and then maybe you'll have more sales. I think one of the most important things to remember is opportunity is always in front of you. No matter what part of your business you're looking at, you need to look at it as an opportunity. When you say it won't work, it won't work. When you say it will work, it will work. It's very important, it's management and sales staff, to push the fact that the complete line of John Deere has never become more important. And not to push it is really a loss of opportunity. Not to actually make an effort to make some profit is not what we're in business for. We're in business to make a dollar. Never has it been a better time to make a dollar by selling add-on items. A lot of good comments there, and the uh, last guy, Tom Mueller, is, is with us, as well as Richard. And uh, if you get a chance, make sure you talk to some of these guys. They've got some great comments about, about our program. As I said, there's a lot of reasons to sell John Deere handheld products, and just to touch base on a few of them, better margins of the competition. What we mean there is, again, we're pricing our product at market, for instance, on the backpack blower. That's one example at $3.99 promo, and we're allowing you to make 25% of that right off the bat. Promotional tie-ins, like we gave a free trimmer away with commercial walk-behind mowers. It ties all of our product line in together, especially when it comes to commercial mowing equipment. Merchandising. We've got co-op dollars available for you for these displays, like you see right here, when you buy handheld products. So take advantage of that. Uh, builds customer loyalty, just like the dealer said. If a customer comes in and buys a trimmer or he buys a walk-behind, he might come in for the other. So it builds customer loyalty. Two other quickies, stocked at PDC and easy to order. Just like the generators or the backpack blowers or anything new product that we introduce, if you've already placed an order on your early order program, you're already locked into the price for that, for instance, on generators. And one unit gets you free freight 
and you get the same discount all the way across the board. Warranty online and a complete accessory line. And one thing I want to point out is we have a new piece. A lot of dealers have asked us, well, where do we find the parts, the part numbers for accessories? On the back table back there, we've got a new handheld accessory book. And make sure you pick one of these up. It's a complete line. It's got all the part numbers and a lot of good information on it. And we'll be expanding this as time goes on. John Deere credit. Can't talk about that enough. Just like the, the, uh, Tom said, is that it really ties the package together. You can finance all this product together. The reason why we're bringing this up is if you've already placed your early order program, that's great. We've got a new product you can add to it. But if you haven't, this program goes on all the way through the end of December. So get with your territory manager and talk to them about it. The reason why, again, why we're bringing this up is we've doubled our sales, like I said before, in the last two years. Uh, and that has been due to 50% of our dealers participating in our programs. And so we need all of our dealers to participate in our programs, unlike Steel, who has 7,500 dealers, and unlike Echo with 10,000 dealers, we only have 3,000 John Deere dealers in North America. And we need all of our dealers to support our product line. So it's very, very important. A little bit about class objectives. Let's review this, and then we'll have, have the floor open for questions and answers. Can anybody name at least an, two outstanding features on the BP-50 backpack blower? Two features, yes. The uh, belt that goes around the... The that's right. Takes the weight off. <coughs> Adjustable throttle. Great. <coughs> Straps. <coughs> All right. Y'all doing great. Can you list three features on the new K-Series generator line that are an improvement over the previous models? Anybody? Four new models. Four new models. Engine. Lower noise level. Lower noise level. What about that uh, dollar sign? Cha-ching. <coughs> I like, as we say in New Orleans, cha-ching. Okay, we got a great price. Can anybody give at least three reasons why to sell John Deere handheld products? Better margins and competition. Better margins. Any others? Brand awareness. Brand awareness. How about easier to order? Stocked at PDC. Stocked at PDC. All right, that's all great. 